So it's quite an interesting track, but as I say, it's very, very intentionally uh, sounds drunk. This is um, a funny sounding track actually, it certainly isn't hi-fi um, in any way and one evening we'd done what we were supposed to do that day in the studio so me and Jan Burton the singer, um, I got him into whiskey which he's a, he's a red wine drinker really and we ended up getting pretty uh, comatose on it and come up with a track called Lefroig which is, um, sorry called Isla which is um, the island where Lefroig and most of the peaty whiskies on, in Scotland are made. And it's just this kind of dirty, um, pretty poorly played, but a vibe, a really good vibe. Jan doesn't like it, the singing's not great, but I like it because of that. Um, and when we were talking today about what we were going to do in Melodyne, I thought that would be a good track. I've not actually worked on this track for a good couple of years, so we didn't have Melodyne then, um, not as it is today. And it's interesting, looking at a, a section of it, how, um, you know, how the tuning is all off and... Uh, it gives it a charm, but you can put it across a couple of guitars and a bit of the vocal and it sounds completely different. The track sounds completely different and do a bit of timing. Um, yeah, so it's quite an interesting track, but as I say, it's very, very intentionally uh, sounds drunk. Okay, so if I just cut the vocal for a start and we just solo the top guitar, um, there's no Melodyne on that, as you can hear. So just to, the process is pretty simple. Basically insert Melodyne um, on one of your inserts there and then hit transfer. As soon as you hit play, it's gonna start learning the part. The difference between this Melodyne and the, end, the DNA Melodyne is that after this part's learned, instead of it being monophonic, it's gonna be polyphonic. So we're gonna hear the elements, um, not that there's many chords, but you'll hear the ring of different strings as they were played. So that's done, if we play that back. So it's just a one note part of that. And now we can quantize it. We're just bringing the quantize in. So now that's quantized. We can go to the pitch and you actually see the notes moving here down the bottom if we zoom in a little. And obviously now it's, it's in, you can pretty much move it around in real time. If we go to the next track, get that going as well. It's a terrible plan as you can hear, but I'd probably eat drunk half a bottle of whiskey by the time I did this one. And there you can see it's more of a chord on that, it was strummed more. So it's broken that down into to the different notes. The first thing I'll do is um, go and start quantizing that and you'll see the notes move around in there. So if we play those back together. And now that's almost perfectly in tune. There's a bad note on the other one which is part of a, a ring on a string. But And then if we go to the vocal, the vocal should come up as it did, yeah, monophonic, because it's just a single note. So now, if we zoom in on this, you'll see this more. You can see the notes here. It's how, basically, that's, that's your D sharp there. Um, and if you, literally, as you move that, you can see the center pitch of that note moving and becoming centered over that, um, the actual correct note there. If we select it, it's really cool. You can actually see that that's within one cent of being a perfect note. Now, because this, this song is a little, you know, loose, we can just move that down, give it a bit more natural sound. Now, we could change that after the singer's gone. So he's not even here, and you can just change the melody. Let's just go back to... I mean, that change there, you'd never hear. You can... can split notes, separate that note into. You can alter the slide between it. I mean, if you spend time on this, you know, you can change the complete melody. 
Split that again. Make it more. And the cool thing is up here, you can actually see when you select the note, how much off you know, that's, that's 19, minus 19 cent, and you can just move that within. So you're still getting that kind of natural sound rather than a, a perfectly tuned note. And it, it can quantize them. Vocals, I wouldn't normally quantize them, but um, show you a little bit on the chords of the other track. There's not many chords in this song, unfortunately, but. So that's completely changed that chord from into So, pretty amazing really. We could go in and go through the whole track and change it, but it's just like dealing with MIDI basically. But just to listen to that against Jan's vocal, we go down back where we were, and we go down to, and we go into the, and really down low. So with a few other things in the track transposed, that would be pretty convincing, even though we're talking three or four notes from the original pitch. Uh, another really handy tool, I'm um, just going to stop and reload this session, something we were working on yesterday, um, is we wanted a, a resolving chord um, in a middle eight, and all we had was two chords, and we need, so we obviously needed this third chord to resolve it. And we went from funky guitar to a brand new chord that wasn't even there. So I'll just uh, close this session and show you that. So the first one we can do, if we're going to keep that funky guitar, we can actually quantize it if we want, and you can see it all moving here. Let's leave it natural for the moment. Um, play the chords. Okay, now for what we was doing the other day, what we wanted to do is get rid of these notes. So we just take those, delete those. Now we take that chord there, Copy it. And we'll just paste it in there. So that's obviously just a copy which you could do in any editor. But now what we're going to do is change this last chord. So this note here we're going to take down. And this note here. You can just change the individual notes. And it's pretty amazing. Now, this one here, we can extend. We can either, sometimes it's better to actually copy a note that's close and do it, but you can actually drag, simply drag the sustain out. On certain sounds, it's perfect on that. On some sounds, it doesn't sound as good time stretching maybe as it does to change the pitch. So you could just literally pick that note up, move it across to here, um, like that. Um, I mean, you know, this is just like dealing with MIDI, as you can see. The fact that you can now change that chord and it sounds absolutely perfect, it's just really cool. And you can just change and shorten the notes, um, move them around, and just work with it as if it's MIDI, which is amazing.